Now may we have our next contestant, please. Now, would you tell us your name and your home city? My name is Jim Goss, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Panel, Mr. Goss recently entered a contest, and I'm happy to say that he won first prize, which I understand you've already received. I received it this past Saturday. That's right. Now, can you tell us what it was you won as a prize? No, that's my secret. Okay, well, if you'll whisper to me, we'll let the audience see what's up. Well, if that's first prize, I shudder to think what second prize uh, <laughs> might have been. Anyway, panel, to help you with the game, the clue to Mr. Goss's secret concerns, obviously, what he received as first prize, and we'll start this time with Bill Cullen. Was this, Jim, a tangible thing, an actual object? Yes. Was it alive? You might say that, yes. From, <laughs> from the audience's reaction, I gathered, is it something that is alive and possibly normally be considered dangerous? No. Not dangerous? Not normally, no, no. Then it's, not, then it's something you're, you're happy to have, to have received. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. $20 down, 60 to go. Bess? Uh, when you received this prize, did you take it home? Mm, not exactly, no. Is it, um, could it possibly be someone of the other sex? I mean, did you win a, a girl or a... No. <laughs> That's silly. Um, you didn't take it home. Now, did you give it away? Did I? <laughs> he gave it back, anyway. Uh... Oh, is it here, by the way? Are we going to see it? You're going to I bring it so. out on stage? Yeah, yes. you'll be able yes? to see it. Is it, uh... Would we know what it was by the size? Of course, is it... I think so. I mean, is it something enormous like an elephant? <laughs> Not quite that big. No, $40 down, 40 to go, Henry. <laughs> what? I don't know what's so funny about that. Well, we'll see. Is, was it human? Yes. I believe that's safe to say, yes. Oh, I wasn't nervous. Uh, <laughs> did you you want a human? Yes. <laughs> I, I you wish everybody did. Contest for that. Uh, <laughs> is it a, is it a very small human? No. A very big one, I would say. Actually, you want a large human. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty dollars down, twenty to go, Betsy. Mr. Gauze, did you win a date with someone? No, definitely not, no. You won a human, a female human? No, no. A male human? A male human. Yes, yes. You won a fellow. All right, well, there goes the money. You were getting pretty close to it there, panel. Uh, before I tell you Mr. Goss's secret, I have a little note just for you from the producers of this program, I Got a Secret. It says this, dear panel, we invited Mr. Goss to appear on our program with his secret in order to teach you to appreciate us and so that you won't complain so much the next time we play a simple little trick on all of you. Yours truly, the producers. And panel, this note refers to uh, a contest that the producers of my late night uh, TV show dreamed up. Uh, and Mr. Goss is the winner of this contest. Will you tell the panel what you received as first prize? I won Steve Allen for a day. From the look on Henry's face, I, I know he's thinking, who wants to win a Steve Allen for a day? <laughs> oh, I was just wondering uh, why you entered. Could I ask a question? Yeah. Was this the first prize? <laughs> yeah. The best, <laughs> best we could do, Henry. <laughs> I was Actually, giving a party, and I needed someone to play the piano. Yes, that really was about the size of it. The, the rules of the contest called for people to write in 25 words or less why they wanted to uh, win me as their piano player for the night, actually. And Mr. Goss won because of neatness, sincerity, and aptness of thought, and because he was the only one who entered. No, actually, there were, <laughs> there were really thousands of entries we received, but he had to win out over many warm and sincere postcards such as this. And these, this one is from Springfield, New Jersey. Mrs. Betty Fingerhut, she says... My husband says he won't let that bum Steve Allen in his house to play piano for him, and I say he will let that bum Steve <laughs> Allen in his house. This is from Memphis, Tennessee, from John Callow. Um, he says, 
Dear sirs, I really don't want Steve Allen at my party at all, but I'm a compulsive contest enterer. <laughs> and this is from Nancy Kay of Chicago 30, Illinois. She says, I want Steve Allen to play the piano at my party because we don't have anyone else booked for that night. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a legitimate thing, and I don't know how Mr. Goss and his guests uh, uh, liked it, but I had a wonderful time. Uh, I guess they all had fun too, didn't they? They all said so, yeah. Yeah, they're really a wonderful bunch of people. And hello to them again if they're watching right now. We have a little bit of movie film, just so you won't think we dreamed all this up. Can they roll that right now for us, just to prove that it really happened? It was a place called the, uh, the Franklin House, wasn't That's it? That's correct, Steve. Yes. What's the address of it? Might as well give them a plug. 7138 Southwestern. Yeah, out the south side of Chicago, my old home neighborhood, as a matter of fact. And uh, they had a drummer for me, so I wouldn't feel lonesome. And we had a marvelous time there, a bass player, too. Considering that I could have ended up anywhere and might have had a terrible time, I want to say that I think I had a better time than anybody at that party, and in a sense, I think I won first prize. Anyway, thanks to you for having me. Thank it was you, great Steve. fun. Jim Goff.